Feeling overwhelmed by Scrivener? You're not alone. This powerful writing tool is packed with features, but for beginners, it can be a lot. Hi everyone, I'm author and writing coach Kirsten Larson. In this video, I'll show you how to open Scrivener, create your first project, and start writing. Step by step, no jargon, no overwhelm. Scrivener is a writing app built for big projects. Think novels, nonfiction books, or screenplays. Instead of putting your entire project in one long document, Scrivener lets you break it into chunks, chapters, scenes, or sections, so it's easier to organize and rearrange. Let's start from scratch. Open Scrivener, then go to File, New Project. Scrivener gives you templates, but don't worry about those yet. Just pick blank to keep it simple. Or choose fiction, novel, if you want something pre-structured. Name your project, maybe first novel, and choose a folder you'll remember. Scrivener saves your work automatically inside the folder. When you open your new project, you'll see three main areas. On the left is the binder. Think of this like your project's table of contents. In the center is the editor, where you'll write. And on the right is the inspector, which shows extra info, like notes. Don't worry about the inspector just yet. You can close it by clicking the little blue eye in the toolbar. Let's write something. In the binder, click on the manuscript folder. Then hit the plus button. This creates a new writing section. You can rename it, maybe chapter one, then double click to open it. Now just start typing. Scrivener auto saves, so no need to worry about hitting save. Want to keep things tidy? You can group scenes into folders like chapters. Drag your text into the folder. This won't change anything in your writing. It just helps you stay organized. Here are three tips to keep things simple as you start. One, you don't need to use every feature right away. Stick with the binder and editor. Two, don't stress about compile. That's for exporting your work later. Three, Use folders and text files to break up your writing and stay organized. If this was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more Scrivener tips. And if you're still stuck, drop a comment. I'd love to help. 